Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to today's championship game in the 2019 Armed Forces Men's Basketball Championship. It's the United States Army versus the United States Navy. At this time, let's meet the starting five for the United States Army. Hailing from Fairfax, Virginia, stationed in Anchorage, Alaska, 6'2 guard, Maurice Williams. Calling home Fayetteville, North Carolina. He's stationed in Cape Town, Kaiser Slaughter, Germany. 5'9 guard, Alex Bradley. From Augusta, Georgia, stationed at Fort Gordon, Georgia. 6'8 forward, Mamadou Sack. From Boston, Massachusetts, stationed at Walter Reed Medical Hospital in Bethesda, 6'8", guard forward, Jamal Thomas. And from Winter Haven, Florida, stationed at Fort Carson, Colorado, 6'7", forward, Darrell Henderson. Head coach for the United States Army, Carl Little. Now let's meet your starting five for the United States Navy. From Woodbridge, Virginia, stationed aboard the USS Baton. 5'9 point guard, Tillman Dunbar. From Charleston, Missouri, stationed aboard the USS Essex. 6'1 guard, Deontay Jones. From Denver, Colorado, stationed at the Naval Hospital here in Jacksonville. 6'6 power forward, Ronald Ray. From Charlotte, North Carolina, stationed aboard the USS Shiloh. 6'4 forward, Worth Smith. And from Mountain View, California, 6'3 swing guard, Grant Vermeer. Head coach of the United States Navy, Micah Bonner. Our officials for today's game, Mr. Ruben Rodriguez, Mr. Ray Ames, and Mr. Kevin Virginello. Ladies and gentlemen, your championship game Army versus Navy. There are your starting lineups for today's game. And then has it as it has been throughout this tournament, we expect this one to be a good one as well. I'm Van Stokes along with Steve Denote, U.S. Armed Forces Secretariat and U.S. SISM Chief of Delegation, wherever you are, glad you could be with us here today. As it comes down to one, one game between the Army and the Navy to decide the men's championship. Women's game, Army and Navy to follow after this one. Deontay Jones, quick down the court, off the glass, sinks it for two. Two to nothing, Navy. Right side, running the attack, Maurice Williams. Darrell Henderson down low, soft jumper, puts it up, no good. Dunbar, away with the ball. Goes into Vermeer, back to Dunbar, kicks it over. To Ronald Ray, kisses the glass. Counted for two, four to nothing. Navy, quick out of the shoot, 45 seconds gone. They're up by four. Alex Bradley, guarded by Tillman Dunbar. He'll pull it out, resets the troops. Gets a ball screen, loses the ball. Taken by Deontay Jones. Back to Dunbar, back to Jones, and Jones on the finish. Deontay Jones, the 6'1 guard out of Charleston, Missouri. Averages 14.7 points a ball game, and he's got four of the first six in this game for Navy. Quick timeout on the floor, allowing Army to regroup. And minute, one minute and 12 seconds gone, Navy jumping out to a six to nothing lead over Army. Tillman Dunbar leading the attack, the four year starter at the Naval Academy. He was all Patriot League performer and was the team MVP while he was at the Naval Academy in this tournament. 
Tillman Dunbar averaging 15.8 points per game. He's a surface warfare officer playing in his second armed forces tournament. His counterpart with the Army, Alex Bradley, gives off to Maurice Williams, who'll dribble the right side. Goes in for the shot and is called for the player control foul. So foul on Maurice Williams. He played four years at the military academy up in West Point. got Bradley guarding Dunbar. And Bradley called for the foul at midcourt. <laughs> and they talk to each other. Again, we talk about the respect that these guys have for one another. Number one, they're brothers in arms. That's number one. And number two, they've given what it takes to play this game. That translates to respect one for the other. And you see it on full display here throughout the course of this competition. Dunbar, right side, he's gonna try to dribble around Bradley, but Bradley steals it. Bradley comes away with it, gets a ball screen, Dunbar goes to the floor, kicks it out right now to Williams, puts up the three point, no good, tracked down that time by Ronald Ray. He'll bring it back down the other court. Good matchup right now between Bradley and Tillman Dunbar. Dunbar loses it. Kicks it over to Ray. He puts a three-point shot. It's no good. Rebound by Mamadou Sek. Sek gets it ahead real quick. This time, shot by Jabal Thomas, left side. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Army ball. Alex Bradley will inbound it. Takes it into second, far right corner. Thinking three, he puts it up, three-point shot, no good, back rim, rebound Dunbar. He'll bring it up to the right side. Back to Ray, back to Dunbar. Thinking three, he puts up the three-point shot, it's up, no good. Tipped by Henderson into the hands of Bradley. Bradley, three-point of his own, it's up, no good. Rebound Deontay Jones. Jones gives it back up to Tillman Dunbar, and they'll bring it back down to the Navy end of the court. Navy leads six to nothing. 16-45 remaining. First half. Tied up underneath Worth Smith. Mamadou Sek with the hands up. Got verticality, but it was Grant Vermeer who came away with it. And Vermeer puts it back in for two. Eight to nothing. Navy. Not for sure what the message is to Dunbar, but he's got a big smile on his, his face. Down low to Henderson. Outside the sec, puts up the three-pointer, and it's good. Count it. Army's on the board, eight to three. They trail by five. Mamadou Sek with the big three-pointer from the far left corner. Free throw line, Ronald Ray, shot no good. Rebound, sec. Dribble that time by Bradley, three point, and he's gonna walk. He's walking with the basketball. So turnover Army. Navy will bring it up to court. 15-52 remaining, first half, eight to three is the score. Navy with a five-point lead. They led eight to nothing at one point. Good move that time by Dunbar. Right corner, Worst Smith, three-point shot. It's up, it's in. 11 to three, the score. Quick pass over, far side, Maurice Williams. Gets it into Henderson. Darrell Henderson stripped of the ball by Ray. Turnover Army. Tillman Dunbar back down the Navy end. He stops, gives it to Ray. Back to Dunbar. Drives on Bradley, lays it up off the glass. Nice little layup. Counted, it's good, 13 to three. Lead by 10. Right side. 
Jamal Thomas and the Mamadou Sek. Sek drives. Got a good move. You saw Worth Smith, he went up. When he went up in the air, that's when Sek took off on the ground. Even Worth Smith applauded that one, said it was a good move. 13 to five the score. Shot by Dunbar, three point shot, no good. Rebound Henderson. Gets it out to Bradley, who brings it up the right side. Back into Henderson, high post. Back over to Bradley on the right side, over to Reese Williams. Back over that time to Jamal Thomas. Kicks it all the way left corner. Mamadou Shek, short jumper, shot clock. And don't count it. Shot clock, shot clock expired. Did not count the points. And it'll be Navy ball. Second more. Shek would have had two points, but it was not the case. Deontay Jones over on the right side. Gives it up to Tillman Dunbar. Grant Vermeer top of the key. Into Ronald Ray. Backhand to Vermeer. Vermeer on the driving layup. And how about that? A little backhanded pass that time by Ronald Ray. Neatly done. And the neat thing about it, Vermeer was right there and looked for it. He looked for it and got it. Took off to the basket and was fouled in the act. To the free throw line, Grant Vermeer. It's the back rim, it's no good. Vermeer averages 12 points a game. He, like Dunbar, like his teammate, Worth Smith, played four years at the Naval Academy. Puts up the next shot, it's good. Rally got the on the left side. <laughs> Waiting to come into the game right now. That's Justin Williams for the Navy. Beckton over to Thomas. Guarded by Vermeer. Drives the right side. Kicks it out to Haley. Haley's shot is up. No good. Shot clock was expired. Ball goes out of bounds. Navy ball. That's Randall Haley who came into the game, the 6'9 forward out of Plant City, Florida. Played at Santa Fe College prior to coming into the Army. He's playing in his first Armed Forces Tournament as a member of the All-Army team. Deontay Jones, downtown Deontay Jones hits the three-point shot. Call that one a 24-footer. He got nothing but net. 17 to five is the score. You can't stop that. In the sec, a little reverse layup underneath. No good. Rebound Smith. Kicks it out to Dunbar. Down to the corner to Deontay Jones again. He'll dribble. He puts up another three-pointer. Don't tell me. It's good. It's good. Deontay Jones shooting the lights out of this. Fitness Center makes it 20 to five Navy and Army calls a timeout. It's gonna be a full timeout. Deontay Jones, the 6'1 guard out of Charleston, Missouri. Played in junior college for a couple of years and then played some NAIA ball for a year. He's 27 years old. He's been in the service for four years, playing in his third tournament. Talking to Michael Bonner about Deontay Jones earlier. Coach Bonner told me, they said he is a zone buster. Well, that's exactly what he's talking about. You put him out there on the perimeter, talk about busting a zone. There's no way you can bust a zone any better than what Deontay Jones can just show you. Set him out there, make him come get you. And if he doesn't come get you, if they don't come get you, he'll nail it from the three-point line. That's Deontay Jones. Deontay Jones. In this game, 10 points already. It's a 20 to five ball game. 
And Deontay Jones is two for two behind the arc. I saw him in the shoot around earlier. And basically, how would I describe Deontay Jones? Calm, cool, collected. Into the game right now for the Army. Kenneth Blackwell gives it to Darrell Henderson. Blackwell, three-point shot. Blackwell shot, it's good. 20 to eight is the score. 12 point lead, Deontay Jones, right side, Deontay Jones, three points. Somebody has got to get a handle on this guy. He is lighting this place up. 23 to eight. Man. Talk about feeling it, Haley, top of the key. Haley hits a three pointer. I'm gonna have to get the umbrella out because it is raining threes. 23 to 11 the score. Down low to Worth Smith. His pass stolen that time by Blackwell. Blackwell will drive. He's tripped up that time. Tripped up by Dunbar. He'll go down the floor. Dunbar will draw the foul. And into the game comes Dennis Murphy. Navy right now, three for three behind the arc is Deontay Jones. Just incredible. Blackwell on the drive, rims it in and out. Rebound Murphy, he gets it back the other way. Backboard shot that time by Blake Bush. Three point attempt, no good. Army will bring it back the other way. Darrell Henderson. Back to Blackwell. Thinking three, he puts it up. Three point shot, it's good. Blackwell, the former Marine, a paralegal in the Army right now, hits his second three point. He's stationed at Fort Eustis in another timeout on the floor. This one is a 30 second timeout called by Navy. 23 to 14 is the score, 10-41 to play. Four three-pointers in this game by Army, four three-pointers in this game by Navy, eight three-pointers in the first 10 minutes of this ball game. Get your umbrella out, because it's raining three points. Navy will inbound the ball. Up the floor it comes with Dennis Murphy. Right side to Justin Williams, looks down low. Tries to get it into Okamina. Ball is deflected, knocked away. Darrell Henderson will try to come the other way and a foul on the floor. That should go against Justin Williams, it does. You know, Navy coach Bonner, Micah Bonner was talking to his team about really the importance of success. But when he talks to him, he's talking about the importance of success, not only on the court, but off the court as well. He stressed and praised how well the team came together so quick. And in Coach Michael Bonner's words, this is a championship team. That's what he told his team during that last time they were together. Nice little move down on the inside by Henderson. He lays it up, 23 to 16. Army working hard to close the gap here. Navy's the kind of team that, well, you just can't spot them a 15 point lead. Entry pass, down low. Turnaround shot that time by Williams, no good. Put back by Okamina. It's good, 25-16. Edwards, Kennedy Edwards over on the right side. Back to Blackwell. Guarded closer this time by Murphy. To Haley, they leave him alone. Puts up the three point, it's an air ball. And he goes out of bounds. Grand Vermeer coming into the game for Navy. 
Vermeer, the cryptologic warfare officer from Mountain View, California. Up the floor comes Murphy. Gives off on the left side, trying to get across the lane, but losing the ball that time is Justin Williams. Army turns it around the other way. Far right side, Blackwell behind the arc. Beckton, he'll drive right side and hits the layup. 25-18, seven point game. Nothing secured, Ronald Ray ready to come into the ball game. Bringing it down this time, Dennis Murphy. Dunbar getting a break. Down low it goes to Williams. Swatted away, swatted away that time by Darrell Henderson. Right side, Becton, three point shot. Back rim, no good, rebound, Williams, Navy. He'll come back. Left side, tried to get through the traffic, whistle on the play. That foul is going to be on That foul is going to be on Mamadou Sek. To the line goes Dennis Murphy. Played at Western Illinois University up in Macomb, Illinois. Played on the 2013 All Armed Forces team. He'll rim it in and out, but he'll get another shot. And he was a 2016 All Navy team member. 32 years of age is Dennis Murphy playing in his third Armed Forces tournament. Stationed aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt. From around the country, around the world, they come to be a member of the respective services basketball team. Shot was good, 26 to 18 to score. Blackwell. Sec, far left side. Back to Blackwell, three-point shot. He's got it! Kenneth Blackwell. Finding the range. Number four, Kenneth Blackwell. Down low pass. Off the glass, no good. Put back by Vermeer, no good. The attempt by Okamina. And then Vermeer. There's Blackwell again, right side. Three point attempt, no good. Put back goes up by Kennedy Edwards. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Into the game. Kyle Weldon for the Army. Weldon from Clarksville, Tennessee, ADA officer at Fort Bliss, Texas. He played at the Military Academy 2012 through 2014. Weldon also 6'10", by the way. Mamadou Sek, guarded by Ray, pulls up inside the arc, puts up the shot, no good. Coming away with it is Deontay Jones. He'll get it down the right side, gives it off to Dunbar, who's back in the game. Dunbar finds Vermeer cutting across baseline. Vermeer loses it, but Dunbar's there to pick it up. The neat thing about that is only Dunbar could see Vermeer coming from left to right. Shot. It's up. By Worth Smith, no good. Army, rebound. Top of the key. Shots up, in and out. Three-pointer by Kennedy Edwards. Rebound by Kyle Weldon, his put back, it's knocked away. That was Worth Smith that knocked that one away by Kyle Weldon. Right side to Vermeer, into Worth Smith. He'll drive and Edwards knocks it away. Edwards goes down on the hardwoods, he's down. He's not getting up. And he's holding on to his right knee. And quickly into the game for Army comes Jamal Thomas with Kennedy Edwards still down on the court. He's helped up slowly, and he's going to be helped off the court. Gets a good hand by the crowd here at Mayport Fitness Center here at Naval Station Mayport, Florida in Jacksonville, Florida. Good crowd on hand here for this championship game. Army-Navy. Navy leads 26-21.
Lead cut to five, 6.48 remaining, first half. Alex Bradley hands off to Mamadou Sek. Thomas coming across the line, comes back to Bradley. Down to Weldon, Weldon guarded by Ray. Ray knocks it away, Deontay Jones comes up with it. Right side, he'll drive the distance, and he just throws it up. Put a whistle on the play. And Jamal Thomas being called for the foul. And if you could give an award for the who, me, who done that, me type award, well, that might go Thomas at that point in time because he said, I didn't even touch him. Inbound ball, knocked away, taken by Army. Bradley, left side, shots up. Thomas, it's good, three-pointer. It's a two-point ball game, 26-24. Army trailing by two. Timeout on the floor. So it's going to be a full timeout called by the Navy coach. 6-18 remaining in the first half. The score stands. Navy 26, Army 24. This game marks the first time that the Air Force has really, that, that they've been out of the medal spot since 2003. Talk about dominance by a particular branch of service. Well, you've got to talk about Air Force basketball because they've been in the medal matches since 2003. They played in the consolation game right prior to this, two games prior to this, first game of the day, and they beat the Marine Corps in the consolation game. And Navy now playing Army. Navy's last medal was a silver medal. That came in 2008. They haven't won a gold medal in this championship since 2005, 14 years. As for the Army, well, they're looking for their third straight gold medal. Tillman Dunbar brings it up the floor. Navy leads by two. Dunbar will drive, loses it, tipped away, back out to Worth Smith, left side of the key, he puts the shot up, no good. And ball goes out of bounds, off of Navy, Army ball. Army will bring it up the floor. 5.50 to play in the first half. Kyle Weldon with the ball outside, goes down low to Beckton. Beckton drives, puts up a soft shot, no good. Taken by Mamadou Sek, he'll put it back up and he's fouled. So Sek will go to the free throw line. Mamadou Sek at the free throw line is a 74% free throw shooter, 20 for 27 coming into this game. And he makes the first one. Pulls Army within one, 26-25. Weldon comes out of the game. <laughs> Henderson's back in. Mamadou Sek misses on the next attempt. Rebound, Deontay Jones. Navy. Right side, kicks it over to Ronald Ray, thinking three is Ray. He'll pull it back out again. Back over to Dunbar. And a foul away from the ball. Go ahead and swing it to the corner. You can hit him in there. That foul is going to be on Marquis Becton of the Army. It'll be a one and one. Headed to the line, Worth Smith. Worth Smith, three points in this game so far. And he hits the first shot. He's got the bonus. He averages 17 and a half points a game. Second leading scorer, scorer in this tournament is Worth Smith. And he makes the second one. Takes the lead to three, 28-25 Navy, 5-20 remaining, first half. Defense. 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 And a
and a whistle. That's going to be called against Ronald Ray. That's going to be his second personal foul. Only four team fouls for Navy. Army will inbound the ball. Jamal Thomas, top of the key. Okamina waiting to come in the game. Thomas over to Bradley. He'll drive left side. Puts up a little runner off the glass. Whistle on the play. That's going to go against Tillman Dunbar. And that's going to send Bradley to the line. Second personal foul on Dunbar. And you start to sense early in this ball game, fouls could become an issue. Waiting to come into the game. Dennis Murphy for the Navy. Bradley to the line. It's up. It's good. Bradley coming into this game from the free throw line, 18 for 21. 86% free throw shooter. He's a playmaker, is Bradley. I mean, we've talked about the point guards in this tournament, and they have, there's just been a number of good, a lot of good play from point guards. Alex Bradley. Jermon Catterham, and of course, Tillman Dumbo. 28-27 as Bradley sinks them both. Murphy gets it down, turns it over. Here comes Thomas, the other side. Thomas gonna lay it up. No good, off the backboard. Murphy comes away with it. They're gonna come back down the floor. Murphy will run, stops at the free throw line, tries to get it down low. Vermeer picks it up after it comes off the hands of Okamina, and he'll put it in. And the foul that time is going to go against Alex Bradley as he tried to catch up to the action. That's going to be his second personal foul. Count the shot by Vermeer and send him to the line. 30 to 27 the score. 429 remaining. First half, Kenneth Blackwell waiting to come into the game. Vermeer's shot, it's up, it's good. 31-27. Grant Vermeer now with six points in this ball game. Pass gives into Blackwell after pressure that time by Murphy. Murphy drives the right side, kicks it across the court to Becton. Out to Thomas, three-point shot. It's up, no good, over the back of the backboard. Out of bounds, Navy ball. Right side. Dennis Murphy over to Deontay Jones. You give him an inch, he's going to shoot. Vermeer. And a foul down underneath. That's going to go against number 11 for the Navy. Larry Okamina from Hartford, Connecticut. Played at Utah State for a couple of years. Also went to Salt Lake Community College. He's 28 years old. And he's been in the Navy for three years. This is his second Armed Forces turn. He's an aviation maintenance admin person. Henderson, far right side. Thomas, corner, Blackwell. Sets it up, puts up the three-pointer. It's no good, rebound. Worth Smith. Blackwell pressuring Murphy. Murphy will get it up the floor. Steal by Henderson. Henderson's going to go the link. Henderson lays it up. It's no good. Tried to save it was worse, Smith. You could tell that Henderson was thinking jam all the way, but he got a little pressure on the inside, so he tried to lay it up. It was no good. Came off the side. It went out of bounds off of Smith. Army retains. Mamadou Sek. He'll drive the lane. He'll turn. It's stripped by Grant Vermeer. Vermeer's going to start things back up the other way. And that's stripped from behind by Thomas. And it goes out of bounds off of Thomas's hands. So Navy retains possession. 31 27, 3 12 remaining first half. Worth Smith misses on the little 
Stab hook attempt off the glass. Rebound, Henderson gives it off to Becton. Becton on the right side, kicks it over to Jamal Thomas, who played overseas for 12 years prior to coming into the Army. He drives the right side, back out to Blackwell, all alone behind the arc, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Becton, new shot clock, 2.43 remaining. Right side, Jamal Thomas now. He'll drive down the right side, out to sec, three-point shot, no good. Air ball. Goes into the hands of Darrell Henderson. No new shot clock. Henderson across the lane. Henderson to the right side. He'll lay it up. It's no good. Rebound that time, Deontay Jones. He'll come the other way. Back out to Murphy. Murphy drives straight down the lane. Stops, pops, little jumper. It falls. 33-27. Key turnaround that time. Army unsuccessful in the last possession. Navy successful on their possession. They lead 33 to 27. Beckton gives it up to Blackwell. He drives in the lane, layup, and he's fouled in the process. Basket's no good. That foul's gonna be on Okamina. It's gonna be Okamina's second foul. That's gonna send Kenneth Blackwell to the lane to the line, I should say. And he'll shoot two. Shoot two. He sinks it. First shot by Blackwell. Prior to today, Blackwell was only two for two in the first six games from the free throw line. Did not spend a lot of time on the charity strike. But nonetheless, he hit those two. Now he's three for three. And he hits that one as well. 33-29, 1.45 remaining in the first half. Navy leads by four. Okamina over to Vermeer. Vermeer out in the corner. Back to Smith behind the arc. It's up, no good. Rebound, Vermeer came right into his hands. He just put it right back in. 35-29, lead back to six. 120 remaining. Blackwell, right side, drives on Murphy. Heads all the way to the hoop, kicks it out to Haley. Haley over to Thomas, left side, three-pointer, count it. 35-32. Jamal Thomas now with six points. He's got two three-pointers. Okamina tries to get it down low to Worth Smith. And they have done a good job on Worth Smith has the Army. They've limited him to five points here in the first half. No, other way, other way. Vermeer to inbound. Gets it into Bush. Back out on top to Murphy now. Back over to Worth Smith. He'll drive. Mamadou Sek knocks it away. And then the little shot comes up from the side and counted it's good. 37-32. Blackwell out of the top of the key. Blake Bush was the man who dropped that last pat, that last shot in. There's Blackwell, top of the key, three-pointer. Up, no good, rebound. Okamina down the floor to Vermeer. 24 seconds left to go in the first half. They'll play for one. Shot clock's off. Murphy, seven seconds, seven seconds, gets a ball screen, three-point shot by Murphy, and he hits it on the right side. Time expires. At the end of the first half, your score, United States Navy 40, United States Army 32. Quick look at the scores for Navy. Deontay Jones, 13 points in the first half for Navy. Three for three behind the arc for Deontay Jones. Eight points in the first half for Grant Vermeer. And six points in the first half for Dennis Murphy. Scores for Army. Kenneth Blackwell, three for seven behind the line. 11 points in the first half for Blackwell. And six points apiece 
for Mamadou Sheck and Jamal Thomas. Once again, your halftime score, Navy 40, Army 32. Does your individual numbers. Let's take a look at some of the team stats if we can. Navy in the paint, 16 points in the paint. Eight second chance points for Navy compared to four points in the paint for the Army and one second, chan one second chance point for the Army. So Navy playing big down underneath. From the floor in the first half, Army shooting 20, 27%. They're 10 for 36, Navy shooting 45%. Big difference there. From behind the arc, Army 7 for 21, that's 33%. Navy 5 for 10 behind the arc at the free throw line. Both teams shooting fairly well. Army 5 for 6, 83%. Navy 5 for 7, 71%. Rebounds in the first half. Pretty close as well on that one. 22 rebounds for Navy, 23 for Army in the first half. Turnovers, 6 Navy, 8 Army. So a game, in spite of an eight-point difference, a game really that is being played head-to-head. -head. A lot of bas basketball left to be played in this championship game between Army and Navy. But we're at the half, and the score stands Navy 40, Army 32. We're going to take a timeout here. We'll be back roughly in about seven minutes from now with the start of the second half in today's action between Army and Navy. This is the 2019 Armed Forces Men and Women's Basketball Championships. We'll be back after this timeout.
Welcome back to the Mayport Fitness Center here at Naval Station, Mayport, Florida. As we get set for the start of the second half of today's game, championship game in the 2019 Armed Forces Men's Basketball Championships between Army and Navy. Navy taking a 40 to 32 lead over Army into the locker room at the half. This is for the gold medal. Navy won their last gold medal back in 2005. They're smelling gold right now, but a lot of basketball left to be played. Coming into this game, after the first six games in this tournament, the double round robin, Navy has the highest scoring offense, 87.5 points a game. Mamadou Sek on the drive. Mamadou Sek fouled on the play to get things started here in the second half. And it is a non-shooting foul. So Army will inbound the ball. Army averaging 80.2 points a contest. So Navy, looking at the averages, averages seven points more per game than Army. And right now, they lead by eight. Again, second half just underway. Bradley down low to Darrell Henderson. Henderson, spin move off of Ronald Ray. Puts it up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up again, no good. This time, Ray comes away with the rebound. He'll dish it out to Dunbar. Dunbar comes down to the right side. Deontay Jones, the sharpshooter, the three-pointer from the right side. Pressure that time by Jamal Thomas. Shots no good. Goes out of bounds. Army ball. If you leave Deontay Jones alone, he will burn you behind the arc. Pressure him could be a different story. Here comes Bradley. He'll drive the left side. Kicks out to Maurice Williams. Three-point shot by Williams. It's good. 40 to 35. One minute gone in the second half. Tillman Dunbar guarded by Bradley. Puts up a little layup. No good. Rebound taken by Sheck. He'll come up the right side. He'll drive against Worth Smith. Kicks it over to Bradley. Almost gets away from Bradley. He does a good job of saving it. And trapped in the corner that time was Maurice Williams. And Army calling a timeout. Good move by Carl Little. He saw his man trapped. So he takes a 30-second timeout. Speaking of Carl Little, he'll be retiring from the Army here. This coming year, getting ready in September to start on a six-month internship as a part of the Army's transition program with North Carolina Central. So he'll be an intern with the basketball staff over at North Carolina Central with the hopes of entering the collegiate ranks as a coach upon his retirement from the Army. 40 to 35, 18, 43 remaining in this ball game. Five point lead right now by Navy. Army ends, will inbound the ball into Alex Bradley. Mamadou Sek between the circles. Drives left, guarded by Worth Smith's ball stolen by Vermeer. Over to Deontay Jones, back to Vermeer. He'll finish nicely, 42 to 35. Vermeer got it started, and Vermeer <laughs> capped it off with the two points. Left side, Bradley dribbles around everybody. He'll lose it. Dunbar will come away with it. Gets it ahead to Vermeer, tries to at least. And he's fouled. That foul is going to go against Darrell Henderson of the Army. Darrell Henderson of the Army tagged with his second personal foul. Dunbar driving against Bradley. Out to Ronald Ray, three-point shot, it's up, rattles around, no good, hey, hey, rebound. Small man that time, Alex Bradley comes away with the board. Gets it back down. Henderson, spin move, along the lane, lays it off the glass over Smith. Count it, that was actually over Ronald Ray that time. 42-37, five-point lead. Tillman Dunbar gets it into Ronald Ray. Free throw line. He'll put it up. Front rim. No good. Rebound again. Alex Bradley. Come to the left side. Bradley puts it up. Rolls around. No good. Rebound by Ronald Ray. Navy. They'll bring it back the other way. Shot up. Three-point shot 
by Dunbar. No good. Mamadou Sheck with the rebound. He'll slow it down. 17-11 remaining in this ball game. Down low it goes to Henderson. But it's knocked away by Ray. Into the ball game comes Larry Okamina for the Navy. Out of the game comes Ronald Ray. Ray comes out of the game with his third personal foul. Inbound pass, knocked away. Army comes up with it. Alex Bradley with the ball. Scooped up the loose ball over on the left side. And driving across the lane went Darrell Henderson, but a whistle on the play. That foul is going to be against Worth Smith. And Worth Smith is going to pick up his second personal foul. Left side in the corner, Alex Bradley. Kicks it in to Darrell Henderson. He tries to come down the lane, but has to put it back out. It goes to Henderson, and the foul call on the play. And that foul is going to go against Darrell Henderson. That's going to be his third personal foul. Army relying on Darrell Henderson deep down along the baseline. They'll get it to him. But credit Navy, they're there with a two-man defense on him. They'll double-team him sometimes, which makes it very difficult for Henderson to get down the baseline. And that time, just a little bit too much Darrell Henderson. He got called with the foul. He'll come out of the game. Checking in at his place, Randall Haley. Henderson, 10.8 points a game and 7.2 rebounds. He's got six rebounds in this game already. They need him out there. Grant Vermeer with the ball, out front for Navy. Guarded by Sheck, he'll drive the right side, bounces it low off the feet of Okamina, but he gets it back to Vermeer, who gets it back to Okamina, who lays up a left-handed hook shot. Nicely done by Vermeer and Okamina. 44-37, seven-point lead Navy. They're led by eight at the half. Left side right now, Jamal Thomas. He'll come to the right side. Gets it down low to Haley. Haley, little stab hook. He's got it. 44-39. Vermeer, right side. Goes along the baseline. And ball goes out of bounds. And Vermeer, you hear the Army coach that time. Carl Little saying, Vermeer, 22 baseline every single time, and he's right on the money. He is, because when Vermeer gets it out in the corner, you can look for him to go to the baseline. Either way, right corner, left corner. So double foul called on that one. Double foul. That's going to be against Sek Mamadou and Larry Okamina. Double foul. It's Okamina's third foul. And that's Mamadou's second foul. Eleven got three. So back in it goes for Navy. Smith to Dunbar, left side. He'll drive, stops at the free throw line, puts it up, no good. Rebound taken by Haley that time. Back down the court they come. Bradley on the right side. Five point ball game. Navy leading by five, 44 to 39. Over to Jamal Thomas. It's on the left side. He'll dribble the right side. Gets a ball screen. Down through the lane. Dumps off to Mamadou. Second sec finishes. Three-point ball game. 44-41. 44-41. Navy up by three. Deontay Jones. High on the right side. He'll dribble behind the arc. Comes down the lane. Ball knocked away. Smith comes up with it. Goes over to Dunbar. Down low. That time to Okamina. He kicks it out to Vermeer. Vermeer, a little runner, no good. Comes back out. And Sheck will take control of him. All the way to the right side to Bradley. He's alone. Three court, three point shot. In and out. No good. Rebound that time. Okamina. Navy will come the other way. Worth Smith is up ahead and knocked out of his hands. 
goes the ball by Mamadou Sek. Other than that, where Smith was looking for a jam. Didn't happen, though. Instead, Navy will inbound the ball. Comes in to Dunbar. Behind the arc for Dunbar. Dribbles left, guarded by Bradley. Whistle on the play. Bradley going to be charged with the foul. How do you guard Tillman Dunbar? That's the big question. And the answer is, that's tough. That's hard. Just like that, Dunbar drives across the lane, lays it up. It's no good. Deontay Jones bats it away. Out of bounds. Army ball. Army ball, they trail by three, 44-41, 14-24 remaining in this ball game. Right side, down to Haley. Haley will dribble across the lane. Left-hander up off the glass through the hoop. It's a one-point ball game. Navy leads by one. And Navy will call a timeout. So feeling the momentum shift, perhaps by Army, Micah Bonner, head coach of the Navy, calls a timeout with 14.06 to play, and his team leading 44 to 43. We saw a lot of this man in the first half. We haven't seen him that much in the second half, but I'm talking about Kenneth Blackwell, who plays for the Army. And the interesting story about Blackwell is that he's a former All-Marine player. Played for the All-Marine team back in 2014. Came out of the 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force when he was stationed in Okinawa, Japan, and Blackwell, who since that time has gone over and changed his branch of service from the Marine Corps to the Army, is now a paralegal with the United States Army and a member of the All-Army basketball team. And in this game, Blackwell, has three three-point shots and leads all Army scores with 11 points. And you talk about Blackwell during the timeout and he appears on the court. So Bradley will get a break. Blackwell will enter the ball game for the United States Army. He's got the unenviable task, though, however, of guarding Tillman Dunbar. Right side, Smith, he slips, drives the lane, lays it up. It's good. Nice move by Ward Smith. 46-43. Navy's lead by three. Blackwell running the point. Haley outside. Gives it up to, to Williams. Down low to sec. He shoots over Worth Smith, but Worth Smith fouls him in the act. <laughs> he doesn't agree with the call, does Worth Smith. Either that or he's frustrated by himself. I think he just did not believe in the call. So Mamadou Sek will go to the line for Army. And Mamadou Sek today, one for two at the line. Hits the front rim, bounces out. Mamadou Sek, former all-tournament player a couple of years ago. <laughs> Outstanding player in this tournament. Last year he went to Officer Candidate School. Comes back to be on the Army team this year, but as an officer. Hits the second shot. It's good. 46-44. Navy lead by two. 13-30 to play in this ball game. Gold medal match, Army Navy. Nice drive by Dunbar. Shots no good. Put back that time by Justin Williams. Nicely done by Williams. He had two opportunities. Got the second one to fall. 48-44, Blackwell out of the point between the circles. To the right side now. Over to Jamal Thomas, back to Blackwell. Nice dribble around the left side by Blackwell. He puts it up, no good, or a rebound that time. Justin Williams kicks it out. Gets it to Dunbar. All the way to the right side. Driving in goes Okamina. Left side. Far corner. Three-point shot by Worth Smith. Counted. It's good. 
51-47. You leave Smith alone, or you let him get hot, either one. And he could hurt you. Nice little spin move. And a foul on the plate by Mamadou Shek. Actually, I think that was a turnover. Because it's going to be Navy ball underneath. Turnover by Shek. Took too many steps once he got in the lane. Got it a little twisted and tied up. Wanted to get rid of the ball, but he couldn't. So Vermeer. Out on the top, we got a legal screen that time by Worth Smith. That's, uh, I think, the second illegal screen by Worth Smith. Mr. Rep, who's that on? That's 21. 21? They call, actually, they call him for the foul on that. So he will come out of the game, Will Worth Smith, with four fouls. <laughs> Blackwell will bring it down the floor. Right side, Haley. Haley will try to come across the lane. Stripped by Grant Vermeer. Vermeer will bring it up the court. Right side, three-point shot. It's up. The attempt by Bush. The putback by Navy, no good. Haley comes away with the rebound. 51-44, they trail by seven, does Army. Three-point shot by Haley. It's up, no good. Rebound Dunbar. He'll come up the floor. Missed opportunities for Army, both sides. Pull-up jumper that time by Tillman Dunbar. Taken by Justin Williams. Batted away, stripped away that time by Kindred for the Army. Jamal Thomas, right side, takes it to the hoop and scores. 55-46, 11-10 to play. Gold medal match. Championship ball game between Army and Navy. Gold medal's at stake. Two-point shot, far side, nicely done that time. Score it. Blake Bush on the shot. Marquis Spector tried to get it into Haley. Turns it over instead. Who else? Dunbar up the way. Feeds Grant Vermeer, and Vermeer lays it up. It's a 55 to 46 ball game. Navy can strike and strike fast. So timeout is called on the floor. Full timeout. Previous timeout. Army was picking up the momentum. Navy called a timeout. This time, Navy picking up the momentum again, and Army calling the timeout. So a couple of good decisions by the coaches out there. Carl Little, Micah Bonner. And you know, when I, I talk to these coaches, and especially Bonner, I say, we talk about his team. He says, I, you know, I don't do anything. I got three starters from the Naval Academy. I said, right, Coach. Coach Bonner, I, I agree with you. However, you give them room to play, but when they get too far out of control, you bring them back in, and that's what coaches do. So credit both of these coaches on the way they've handled their teams. So it's going to be Army ball to bring it in. Kenneth Blackwell will bring it up to court. 10.34 remaining in this game. Nine-point lead by Navy, 55-46. Far corner, Jonathan Kendrick puts up the three-pointer, no good. Kendrick had four three-pointers, four three-pointers in overtime earlier this week against Air Force. When Army beat Air Force, 86-83 in overtime. There's a three-point shot, left side. Tillman Dunbar for three, 58-46. The lead goes to 12. Defense! 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 
Becton. Over to Kendrick. Down to Thomas. Three point shot by Jamal Thomas. It's a fall away three pointer and it's good. We haven't talked about Jamal Thomas that much. He played at Portland State for four years and then overseas for 12 years before coming into the Army. He's from Boston, Massachusetts. Shot left corner, three-pointer, no good that time by Bush. Jonathan Kendrick has the ball. Over to Thomas, they give it to him again. Right side, three-pointer from the corner by Thomas. It's no good. And there's a foul on the play. Fifty-eight, forty-nine. Blackwell will come out of the game. Bradley will go back in, and Jamal Thomas will go to the line. He'll be shooting two on this, so he was inside the arc, not by much. Actually, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Took place before the shot. He'll make the first shot. You know, I talk about Thomas's experience because, quite honestly, between he and Darrell Henderson right now, he's one of the two big men that the Army just simply has to go to. Make that three big men, because you talk about Mamadou Sek. He also plays like that big man. He'll sink that one, Will Thomas, 58-51. Down low, speaking of big men, there's Worth Smith. Blocked nicely that time by Army. Goes back the other way. There's Thomas, right corner, three-point attempt, no good. Rebound, Okamina, Navy, gives it off to Dunbar. Back the other way they come. Guarded by Bradley. Left side, Worth Smith, it's no good. Rebound, Marquise Beckham gets it ahead to Bradley. He'll drive. Thomas is there. He'll try to put it back. It's no good. Vermeer takes the rebound. Vermeer will run it to the left side. Over to Worth Smith. Worth Smith lays it up. Grant Vermeer, Worth Smith. They have got a tandem going. You throw Tillman Dunbar into that. And those are three guys who played together at the Naval Academy. They know each other's moves so well that they just lead and feed each other. <laughs> Vermeer coming over to the side and getting low fives from his teammate. They're having a good time. They lead by nine. Navy ahead of Army, 60 to 51, 825 to play. Hope you're enjoying this live stream, wherever you may be. We're glad we can bring it to you. Once again, courtesy of the Armed Forces Sports Office. Down low, all alone, and making him pay is Larry Okamina, who drops it in for two. 62-51, 11-point lead. Darrell Henderson around the hoop for the Army. Out to Bradley, three-point shot, in and out. Rebound, Okamina. Okamina stepping up big. One on four goes Dunbar. He'll take it down the floor, and he's fouled by Bradley. Alex Bradley, he's picking up his fourth personal foul. As the sharpshooter, Deontay Jones comes into the game for Navy. And coming to the bench is Blake Bush. Worth Smith, three-pointer, top of the key. Air ball by Smith. This tournament used to pick the All Armed Forces men's and women's team to go forward and compete in the World Games in China in October. Part of the CISM World Games, the International Military Sports Council. More about that in just a second. Dump off that time to Darrell Henderson underneath. He makes it, it's good. Assist Mamadou Sek, 62 to 53, 730 remaining in this ball game. And down low, player control foul, Worth Smith. Maintaining his position on the floor was Darrell Henderson. He established his spot, Smith plowed into him and gets called for the player control. So Worth Smith has picked up 
his fourth personal foul. He will come out of this ball game with 7.22 to play. And fouls becoming a factor in the game. 4 fouls on Bradley, 4 fouls for the Army, and 4 fouls on Worth Smith for the Navy. Right side, Darrell Henderson. He'll drive in, lay it up, no good, and a foul on the play. So that foul by Ronald Ray is his fourth foul as well. But as I was telling you about the world military games coming up in China in October, the last SISM basketball championships was at the military world games. That was held in 2015 in Seoul, South Korea. The USA finished fifth with Qatar beating Greece for the gold. The United States did win the Shape International Basketball Tournament in 2016 and 2017. And I guess the question I have is how many years has the United States been participating in the Shape Basketball Tournament? My guess, you ready for this, is about, I'm going to guess this at about 35. 35 years of participation in that tournament. We'll, we'll research that one, check that one for you if we can. <laughs> Feeding me all this information is the U.S. Armed Forces Secretariat and the U.S. SISM Chief of Delegation, Steve Denote, who's also been the man to make this live streaming come to you through armedforcesports.com. You'll check that info if you can and give me the updated info. Shot no good by Navy, Mamadou Sek brings it down the right side. 62 to 55, 646 remaining, Mamadou Sek. Layup takes it to the hoop, count it, 62 57. Navy calling a timeout. Momentum shifting just briefly. The first shape tournament, tournament was held in Mons, Belgium in 1960. And the military, the United States military, has been putting an armed forces team in that tournament. 59 years, from 1960 to 2019. You talk about the alliance, and you talk about the motto of friendship through sports, which is the SISM motto, and you see it realized in international military competition. You see it realized in the SISM games, which are held on an annual basis, and then the World Military Games, which is built along the lines of the Olympics. 10,000 military athletes from over 100 company, uh, countries coming into China in October, all under the same motto, friendship through sports. Dunbar, top of the key, gives off to Williams. Justin Williams back to Dunbar. He'll dribble the right side, shot clock going down. Along the baseline goes Dunbar, he pulls it back out again. Kicks it out to Bush, puts up the three-pointer, no good. Mamadou Sek with the rebound. Kicks it out to Alex Bradley. Bradley will bring it up to court. Over to the left side right now. Becton across the lane, Becton lays it in. And it's a three-point ball game with six minutes remaining. Gold medal game. 62-59, Navy leading. Dunbar drives in. Short jumper, top of the key, no good. Rebound, Darrell Henderson, Army. Alex Bradley walking it forward. Bradley passes over to the right side to Maurice Williams. He'll give it back to Bradley. Down low to Sec. Sec puts it up off the glass, it's good. Nice move down low by Mamadou Sec, the former Saluki from Southern Illinois. Makes it a one point ball game, 5-15 remaining, 62-61 Navy. Dennis Murphy with the ball. He goes left side, gives it to Deontay Jones, three point shot by Jones. Deontay Jones drains it. 65-61, Deontay Jones, four for five behind the arc. Three three-pointers in the first half. And he lights it up here again in the second half. Jumper near the free throw line. Bradley, good, 65-63. Trading shots, Army and Navy. 
Dunbar, right side. Deontay Jones guarded by Becton. Kicks it over to Murphy, top of the key between the circles. Ball screen, left side he goes. Gets a little room down the lane, kicks it back out to Dunbar. Dunbar, three-point shot, good, count it. Tillman Dunbar, three-pointer, gives Navy a five-point lead. 68-63, left side, underneath the basket. Bradley kicks it out, takes the three-point shot when he gets it back from the corner, puts it up no good, rebound that time. Dennis Murphy, he gets it ahead to Dunbar. Dunbar driving on Maurice Williams is fouled. So Maurice Williams will pick up the foul. He's charged with a second personal foul. We have had ourselves a good one here. 68 to 63, 357 remaining in this game. Navy seeking to win its first Armed Forces Men's Basketball Championship since 2005. Worth Smith checks back into the game. He's got four fouls. His presence is needed as he lines up in between Marquise Beckham and Mamadou Sek at the line. Dunbar misses the shot. Rebound taken, Sek. He'll bring it up the floor. Sick can do it all. He'll drive the right side. Kicks it out to Williams in the corner. The corner brings it out high on the right side. He'll drive. He'll lay it off the glass, and it's good, and he's fouled. So count the basket. The foul is going to go against Justin Williams. Justin Williams has picked up his fourth personal foul. Four fouls on Ronald Ray, four fouls on Worth Smith, and now four fouls on Justin Williams. To the line right now, Maurice Williams, 69-65, four-point ball game. Shots up, no good by Maurice Williams. Ball goes out of bounds. and it's gonna be Army ball. So the shot was no good, went off of Navy, out of bounds, under the basket, Army will inbound it. Mamadou Sek in the corner, guarded by Ray. Mamadou Sek will drive inside the arc. He'll turn on Ray, spin towards the hoop, and lays it in. That was as fine of a, fine of a drive that you're gonna see in this tournament by Mamadou Sek. 69-67, two-point game, 322. Right side, Deontay Jones back out to Dunbar, fakes the three off of Bradley. Left side, Worth Smith, three-point shot up, no good, rebound Alex Bradley, Army. Army will slow it down. Army can tie it up. Three minutes left in this ball game. Navy leads by two. Darrell Henderson passes to Bradley, left side. Becton, three-point shot, it's good. They not only tie it up, Army takes the lead. 70 to 69, 244 remaining. Right side, Dunbar kicks it back out to Ray. Three-point attempt by Ray, counted, it's good. 72 to 70, they are trading shots. They are long range shots. Navy takes the lead, 2.22 to play. Mamadou Sek out on top of the key. He'll drive the left side. Guarded by Ray, jump shot no good. Loose ball, Dunbar comes away with it. Two minutes to play in this game. 72 to 70, Navy leads. Navy will eat just as a little bit of clock as, they, as much as they can, I should say. Dunbar, ball left side, ball screen. He'll go in towards the basket. He's got the layup, uncontested almost. And they lead by four, 130 to play. 
and Army calls a timeout. 1.32 on the clock. And it'll be a full timeout taken by Army. You know, we were talking about the SISM games. And we talked about SHAPE having the first SHAPE International Basketball Tournament starting in 1960. Well, SISM championships, they started by Bel they were started by Belgium back in 1950. Four teams in the first SISM championship. That included Belgium, Egypt, France, and Italy. And the USA made its first appearance in the SISM championships back in 1953. They became a member of SISM back in 51, and they have been a full participant in SISM since 1953. They joined SISM in 51 and first competed in 53. We're talking about basketball here. And the first official SISM Women's Basketball Championships came in 2015. That was in France, USA hosted. The second one back in 2016. Speaking of women's basketball, it's going to be Army Navy coming up immediately after this, the gold medal game in women's basketball. This one, 74 71 in the men's game. Navy in front by four. 1 30 remaining on the clock now. Bradley dribbles to the right side. Bradley, three point shot. It's up. It's good. Count it. 74 73, 119 to play. Tillman Dunbar. Left side for Navy. Guarded by Bradley. Ball screened by Smith. He trips. Loose ball on the floor. Deontay Jones comes away with it. He turns it over. Taken by Maurice Williams. He'll drive left side. Williams will put it up. And it goes out of bounds. Shot no good. Williams puts it up. It went out of bounds off of Army. Vermeer goes down to the floor. He slipped. He gets up. He's okay. Fortunately so. And with 55.5 seconds to go, it's a one-point ball game. Army, tremendous opportunity coming off of the loose ball. But Maurice Williams unable to convert. And the ball goes out of bounds, and Navy will bring it back this way. And Navy's going to call a timeout. 47.4 seconds remaining on the clock. They want to make sure with 22 seconds left on the shot clock, that they utilize this time in the wisest way possible. So we're giving you that background on shape, Belgium. We're giving you that background on the <laughs> world military competition, world military games, as well as the annual SISM competition, because it all operates not only the Olympic principles and values, but with the concept of sports for all, with the opportunity to, for each to rise to the highest skill level possible. Sports for all with the opportunity for each to rise to the highest skill level possible. And for some of the men and women in this competition today, that's going to be the World Military Games, the Military Olympics. So 74-73, one point lead by Navy with 47.4 seconds remaining in this ball game. And what a game it's been. Army used to winning this trophy, Navy. Seeking to win it for the first time since 2005. Tillman Dunbar with the ball. Out in front. Guarded by Bradley. He'll drive. Right side. Ball screen Smith. They're left alone. Right side. Spin move that time by Dunbar. No good. Rebound. Taken by Becton. Gives off to Bradley. 25 seconds. He's guarded by Dunbar. Bradley tries to go inside, kicks it out the left side right now to Jamal Thomas, and Army calls a timeout with 15 seconds to go on the clock. 15 seconds to go on the clock, timeout Army, and Navy leads 74 to 73.
Mamadou Sek, who's been so prominent in this game, was actually born in Senegal and was a, was a star soccer player before he decided to start focusing on basketball. And then he calls, of course, he brought that fruit to fruition at Southern Illinois when he became a Saluki. And by the way, Mamadou Sek speaks three foreign languages. Looking at Navy, you see Michael Bonner talking to his team. And his Navy player, Deontay Jones, played at Texas Wesleyan. Is the second leading scorer today. Deontay Jones just lit, the, lit this place up with his three-point shots. But right now, it's going to be Army ball. They've got 15 seconds left to go on the game clock. 14 seconds on the shot clock. One second differential. And Navy leads 74 to 73. So here we go. Game on the line. Inbound to Bradley. Bradley dribbles to the right side, goes around Smith. He loses it. There's a tie up on the floor. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of Navy. Ronald Ray going in on the tie up after Bradley lost the ball going to the basket. The loose ball, the tie up between Ronald Ray and Darrell Henderson down on the hardwoods and a possession arrow in favor of Navy means it's going to be Navy ball with 4.0 seconds left to go on the clock. One timeout left by Navy. Ray to inbound the ball. Mamadou Sek to guard him. Gets it in to Dunbar. Dunbar will dribble all the way up the floor. He's quickly fouled on the far side with 2.4 seconds left to go. So Dunbar will go to the line. And the score remains 74 to 73. Army with the opportunity of 15 seconds to inbound the ball and Alex Bradley getting tied up in the paint and then losing the ball and a tie up resulting in a jump ball with the possession arrow going to the Navy. Gives them an edge right now, 74-73 with the lead with 2.4 seconds to play. To the line, Tillman Dunbar. Dunbar's shot, it's good. Seventy-five, seventy-three. 73 Dunbar. Second shot. Front rim, no good. Henderson gets it down. It's stolen by Deontay Jones. Buzzer sounds, and there's your ball game. As Navy wins its first Armed Forces Men's Basketball Championship since 2005, they are celebrating on the court. And that is a happy group of players. The United States Navy defeats the United States Army 74 to 73, and they win the 2019 Men's Armed Forces Basketball Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Armed Forces men's basketball champions, the United States Navy. Your final score, Navy 74, Army 73, leading the way for Navy. Today with 16 points, Deontay Jones, four for five behind the arc was Deontay Jones. Seven rebounds for Jones. 12 points apiece for three Navy players, Tillman Dunbar. Two for four behind the arc, Tillman Dunbar with 12 points. 12 points for Worth Smith and 12 points for Grant Vermeer. Leading scorers for the Army, 15 points today for Mamadou Sek, 13 for Jamal Thomas, 11 points on the day for Kenneth Blackwell. Once again, your final score, Navy. 75, Army, 
73. Your 2019 Armed Forces Men's Basketball Champions, the United States Navy. Coming up in about 20 minutes, the gold medal game between the women's teams representing the United States Army and the United States Navy. Wow, you take a look at that. A lot left out there in that court, but a lot left to come. Taking a look at the numbers. Navy shooting 42% from the floor, 29 for 69. They were 10 for 21 behind the three-point line. 47% free throws, 7 for 11. Meanwhile, Army 39% from the floor, 11 for 31 behind the arc. A total of 21 three-pointers in this ball game. Both teams combined. Army, by the way, 10 for 13 from the charity stripe today. In the paint, 17 points today for, excuse me, 32 points for Navy down in the paint, 24 for Army, 17 points off of turnovers by Navy, scored by Navy, 13 points by Army, 10 second chance points by Navy, only three by Army, and 10 fast break points. So you take a look at fast break, second chance, points off a of turnover, as well as in the paint. And the edge goes to Navy. And Navy making the shots when they needed to. Army coming up with a great, great effort, but coming up just a little bit shy, falling to Navy here in this championship game. So that's the way they round up. Once again, your 2019 Armed Forces Men's Basketball Championships. Champions are the United States Navy. We're gonna take a time out here. We come back, we're gonna have another gold medal game. That's gonna be another Army-Navy game. This time it's gonna be the women. Army women against the Navy women. We're gonna take a time out here. We'll be back with the next game, the final game of this 2019 Armed Forces Basketball Championships, 20 minutes from now. You've been listening and watching to the 2019 Armed Forces Men's and Women's Basketball Championships brought to you by the Armed Forces Sports Office. We're back in 20 minutes after this.